like many of you, when I go to download software that may possibly no longer be available on the original manufacturer's website, I'll go to download.cnet.com. Now, the applications that I've downloaded from uh, this website have all been legitimate. I haven't had any viruses or any other problems with them. Uh, but I want to show an alternate way to get the original file that was originally uploaded by the developer rather than going here uh, and downloading the same program. So in this case, today I happen to be talking about the uh, image composite editor, which is uh, created by Microsoft. And I believe it's available for download um, on CNET as well. Uh, one of the other difficulties you'll have, as you can see here, is that when you go and you type in a name, you're going to get matches for other applications that might not even be the one you want. Like, I'm not sure if this is the image composite editor that was uh, written by Microsoft or if it's some other developer and it's going to have a bunch of uh, shareware and bloatware and adware. I have no idea. So to avoid all this, and again, I have nothing against this website, but to avoid all this, uh, what you can do is try to find the original URLs for the application. For instance, uh, for the image composite editor, this is their main website here. You can see that this was developed uh, back in 2008. And when you scroll through here, you can see screenshots of the application. It looks like it's an active product. But when you go to downloads, um, Unfortunately, you can see that there's absolutely nothing here uh, as far as downloading the image composite editor. So what I did was did a search for forums. This is a social.microsoft.com and somebody had posted uh, the two links for the downloads. Unfortunately, when you go to them, you get this. So the downloads are no longer available, but we have another option. What you can do is right click copy this, and then go to what's called the Wayback Machine. This is at archive.org slash web. And what this tool or this website does is it goes and takes snapshots of uh, websites at certain intervals. So if we paste in the URL for the 64-bit version of the software, you can see that snapshots were taken all the way back uh, 2016, all the way up till current. Um, now, I've already looked at these, and I know that uh, the snapshots that were taken prior to 2020 don't actually include the download, the file itself. So I'm going to go here to this snapshot from October 31st, 2020. And you can see here, here's the, what the original page looked like, the Microsoft page, when, when the download was available. And if I click on Download... And look at that, we're downloading the file. Now keep in mind, this is the original file that was uh, uploaded, developed by Microsoft from their original website. So archive.org, it's not like somebody else, a random person has uploaded it and then they've attached it to this snapshot of the website. This is actually the original file. Hopefully you can use this information for any program uh, that is no longer available for download from a a given developer's website.